Hi guys, it's Craft Girl here, and today we'll be making something very cool. If I can grab it, it up here, we are gonna be making these um, light switch things. So the light switch would go here, and then you just flip the switch. And if you have one of those like that's just a big rectangle like that, I don't know if like how well that one would work cause I do not have those in my house but you can probably do it with like the um, cases to the outlet because I think those come off but for starting this craft you will need to have if you are younger or you might just have to have an adult help you get it off the wall and since duct tape, I wouldn't use actual duct tape because it sticks and it will be harder to take off when you're ready to take it off. And it will be, it will leave some sticky residue on it. So to start, so I would use um, washi tape. I am using this Scotch um, Expressions washi tape. These and on this one, I use the same brand and stuff, but with the mustache one. And this, I like mustaches, so this one is going to go into my room. Um, so let's get started on this one. As you can see, mine is pretty dirty. I've been trying to wipe it off to scrub it off, but it's not wanting to come off. So I just so what I used was these baby wipes and if you're gonna wipe it off and then put the stuff right on it then I would recommend like wiping it off with a paper towel so it's not wet so to start it's, it's very easy and the only hard part is like when you're getting right down this middle line because there are the holes or for the nails and so you just start like by taking a piece and seeing like about how long you want it and then you will cut it and you just take this I guess you could go this way on it but I'll be going this way you want to kind of like get it to the edge like right there and if you don't get it all the way to the edge that's okay and I recommend leaving some like excess like right there you can fold it over and it will stay on kind of better because my old one it was like I've had it on for almost a year when I would go and flip the switch like some of the tape started coming off so I'm glad I'm gonna I thought of putting them on. you can kind of see I blocked some of the holes but that's okay we just don't block it all the way because the nails are strong enough it can go through it so, so then you'll just keep taking more pieces of tape I would recommend doing since it would go one two and then one two Right there, I'll just do that. So, and on this one, it, you kind of have to watch it so you don't get it right in the middle space right there. So that's just really the only thing you have to be careful of. And then you'll just take it and just put it down like that. So this is what it should look like now. And I'm just going to do the other side first so it's easier when I go to do the middle. Oop, I got stuck there. There are many different ways to do the middle part of, on this, but I'll be just using my way and it's the easiest one for me. So, let me get these first and then I'll show you what to do. Just place it down, snip it, Hold it over, and then if you have a piece like that, which is kind of tiny, you can just take a small piece of the washi tape 
And just go over it to make sure it stays on there. And these little things, the nails don't go in them, so I'm, you can cover them, because I had to cover this one and this side. So this is what it should look like now. And then if you, some of your edges on the corner are poking out, you can either cut them off, but I think I will leave mine because they kind of look cool on there. So this part's kind of the harder part, but it's still not too hard. So that's why I like this craft. So first, for starting, since I've been ripping mine and cutting it some, it's not even right there. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off that piece so it is even. That just makes it easier to work with. And then that first hole, you'll put it right below it and just cut it where there's still some extra. And you'll just curve it over. So... And then the next one, you'll kind of like measure about how much it is. Not very much. Just cut some off. And this seems like too much. So I'm just going to get it down shorter. So like that. This is what it should look like now. And if you want to, if you can see there's still little stuff right there, you can just grab a small piece of tape and... Like, I'll just cut this piece in half, and just take this and place it right there, so you don't see too much of the one color. But it kind of looks weird, because these lines are going up and down like that, but these are going to the side, but it still looks pretty cool. So remember to kind of start with a straight edge. This one's not all the way straight, so I'll just cut it off like that. I'll just lay it down there. Oh, and if you have washi tape like, um, like these, the duct tape, smaller ones, this is not washi tape. It will leave a sticky residue, so if you have some kind like this, I would not recommend using it unless you want to keep it on there for like a long time. And you have some kind of cleaner that gets the sticky residue off. So if you have, so this stuff is meant for like, if you do a duct tape wallet, which I might have a video on, I don't know. If you do a duct tape wallet and you're like, you need to cut it in half instead of taking a full length one and cutting it in like fourths. I think that's what it's kind of used for, but I just wouldn't use it on this because, it, one, it's harder to take off, and two, it's just not too good for it, and it will leave the sticky residue. But then for the rest of it, you'll just take that small piece again, and instead of, like, cutting it down, you could just place it across like that. And then that kind of helps, like, so then you just take, if you want to get this too long, cut that. And then you'll cut this in half. And just place it over that. And place it over that. And since right here, where I stuck it on to make sure it stayed a little, it's kind of like, peeling off so I'm just moving it back so it's a little better sticking on. So this is what the final products look like. And this one has all the mustaches on it. And I think this one will be for my room and this one will be for the room that I do all my crafts in. So this room where I make and then something Another thing easier to do with, like, the washi tape are just take some clothespins and just put a small strip, cut it off the ends, and then just fold the other side over. And you can just paint them, and it makes them look really cool. This was puppy paint. It didn't turn out, like, too great, so I wouldn't recommend using it. This one is just, um acrylic paint uh, this color is the this 
satin sweetheart of this acrylic paint. So, yeah, that's really it for this video. So there's kind of two things showing you these and how to make these. So then you'll just screw it back on your wall and then it'll be done. It's really as simple as that. So I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any other things. You can paint on um, these clothes pins. You can paint or any other ways to do the duct tape stuff on them. But yep, I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up like I already said. And that video I had on the island flower thing, I just found I had this color sand stuff and it looked really pretty so if you have colored sand I'd recommend using that. Give this video a thumbs up, write in the comments if you want, and see you in my next video. Bye!